Hi, welcome to the second video in the Metal Gear Solid series and here I'll be showing you how to create a very handy tool which is binoculars, as seen in this clip. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Okay, so to create these style binoculars, as you can see, I've replicated it where when I'm holding F, I'm zooming in using my binoculars, I press V and it zooms once, twice, and then resets. However, I've also included the function to use the B button to reduce. So to do this, we're just using our third person character blueprints. And if I just bring these up here, I'm just going to show you how this is done. So, as you can see, what happens is when I'm holding F, then I'm setting my follow camera actually in front of my character, so that my character is no longer in the way, and I'm decreasing its field of view from 90 to 60 to get that zoom in. And when I release F, then I'm just setting my camera back to its original location, setting my binoculars boolean to false, and resetting my field of view back to 90. And as you can see here, when I press V, then I increase my binocular zoom, and when I press B, I decrease my binocular zoom. So these are functions here, so if we look at the increase binocular zoom, this is it. What happens is I'm checking what the value of zoom is, because I only want these values. I'm using a switch instead of any booleans or if statements. It's a nice simple switch using an integer. So it's checking which value it is. If it's less than 2, then we can increase it. If it's more than 2, then we're just resetting it back to normal. And on the decrease, it's the same. So, let's jump to it. So in my third person template, I am going to just go straight to my blueprint, and we're just going to start. So the first thing we want to do is we want to go to viewport, and we want to find a position where the camera can be in front of my character. So the values I used were 350 in the X and 50 in the Z. And as you can see, this brings the face just behind the camera. So we can use those values if you want, or you can mess about bringing this about to find a place that suits you. So I just need to zero them back to normal. So first thing is I'm going to use my F. So I'm going to get F and we're going to now use an event. So the first variable we need is binoculars. And we're going to leave that as boolean, compile that, and it's going to be set to false. And on press, we want to set it to true. And when it's released, back to false. So we're going to tick that top box to set it to true. Now, we want to left click our follow camera and I want to set relative location and use my values I've messed about with in the viewport, so this is 350 and 50. And we want to use this again, so Control c Control v and on release, just zero these back out, because they're being set to the relative location of the original camera boom. And we can use that as our target. So now we've got that set up. We also need to change our field of view. Because right now we don't increase the zoom at all. So we're going to left click our follow camera again and put set field of view. You want to set field of view, you're going to have to untick contact sensitivity and I'm going to set it to 60 and then at the bottom its value is 90 by default. So we need to set it back to 90. To check what value it is, you can just go to your viewport, left click the camera, field of view is 90. And as you can see, it's giving me some errors here. This is just because I need the follow camera. So I'm going to bring these forwards. I'm just going to need this, this follow camera and plug it into my targets. Now when I compile, the errors are gone. So right there, we have our binoculars. When I'm holding F, I zoom in. And when I let go, I zoom back out. That's great, but we still can't zoom in. So let's do that. Let's create our new variable like I showed you before, and we're going to name this zoom. And we're just going to set it to an integer and compile. Its default value, we want a zero. So what we want to do is when we let go, 
of our binoculars, we also want to reset our zoom back to zero. Just so that the zoom on the binoculars is held. If you want to be, perhaps save the zoom value of when they took the binoculars away, so when they go back to it, they're still in the same zoom, you can, you don't set the zoom back to zero there. So let's go to a new function. And let's call this increase zoom. And the first thing we want is a branch. So just hold B and left click and we'll get this branch. And what we want to do is we want to check if zoom is greater than or equal to 2. So I'm just going to drag off there and do greater than and get this integer greater than integer. Now you can use many different values of how far you want to zoom. I'm just using 2 so that we can get three separate zoom levels. If you wanted more, then just increase that. What you have to remember is this programming language does use zero, so zero is the first position in that list. Okay. So, as we saw before, if this was false, I reset zoom back to zero. So I'm gonna set it back to zero, and again, set my field of view back to 90 with my follow camera being my target. So now when I go through all the zoom cycles it goes back to its default but that needs to be 60 because we need to use this value here as they're still using their binoculars. So the next thing we want is a switch on int and this stands for switch on integer. And our switch we're using is our zoom value so I'm just going to place that into there. Now we're going to add three pins, one for zero, one for one, and one for two. On zero, we want this to happen. So I'm just going to bring this back up. And we want our follow camera as our target. On one, we want to increase our zoom, so we want to decrease our field of view. And we'll set this to about 40. And we'll need one more of those sets and I'm going to set this to about 20 and make sure you use your follow camera as your target for them all. So this is saying if zoom is 0 then use field of view 60, if it's 1 use field of view 40, if it's 2 use field of view 20. But the next thing we need to do is actually have it increase its value so we need to bring this across and just on true it's very simple we can use this one here zoom plus integer plus one and that's our selection or the better way to do this is to just do a new set and have that so we're doing zoom plus one if this is true sorry we need a less than we need a less than if zoom is less than two increase it by one and then change our field of view. If it's greater than 2 or equal to 2, then set it back to 0. In the event graph, just choose a button. I'm using V, and I'm going to do nothing on press, but on release, I want a branch. Hold B, left click, and our branch is actually checking if our binoculars are used. Because if they're not used, then we don't need to increase the zoom. If they are being used, increase zoom. Okay, so let's play. Hold V, hold F, press V. Now we're zooming in, and when we've gone through all our cycles, we're zooming back out. Now the decrease zoom is very similar. I'm just going to create a new function, decrease zoom, and we literally can just copy and paste the majority of this. So in here, I'm just going to press Control V. use that to connect to the branch. And what we want to check is we want to check if zoom is greater than zero. So we don't want to put zero in there, just greater than an integer, greater than zero. If it is, then we want to minus an integer from here and set it. Again, we don't need anything on false. So I'm just going to bring that up there instead and delete that. And that is literally all there is to decrease zoom. Now we just need to set it up. I used B, so we'll just use B again. We're using another branch, so hold 
B and press left click, unrelease, check if binoculars is used, if it is, decrease zoom. And compile, and when we go through we can also now press B to go back to the previous one. But when we are on our lowest setting we can't use it. And when we're not using our binoculars, when we press either V or B, our field of view doesn't change. So that was a very simple way to create some zoomable binoculars in the Unreal Engine 4 using blueprints. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If your opinion is otherwise, you have any questions, advice, suggestions, or you just want to leave a message, just leave it in the comments down below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like, you could also follow me on Twitter at Sam underscore BA underscore Jones 97. And as always, don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks guys. Bye.